I recently watched a Transformers 1 at a fan event this past Saturday, the weekend before it came out. Let's talk about it. I'll start by saying I had a freaking blast watching this movie. It was a lot better than I had expected. Full disclosure, I'm not into the Transformers franchise, and the last time I watched a Transformers movie, Shia LaBeouf was still in them. It also seems like every live action entry in this franchise was a slow decline, each one to each one, and it, they just kind of became excuses for Michael Bay to just blow things up. And I can confidently say that this animated Transformers movie is probably the best Transformers movie ever made. I would say this movie definitely won me over and I would definitely go see a sequel, an eventual sequel. They're definitely gonna make a sequel to this. I had a great time watching this movie and I know fans of this franchise are gonna love this movie. This is the movie that you guys have been waiting for, I promise. My best friend is like a huge Transformers fan. He was like, let's go watch this. I was like, mm, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of like, whatever. But the trailer actually looked pretty good. So that's why I went to go watch it. And I was blown away. I had very low expectations and I was like, this is really good. This is a really good movie. Don't let the movie fool you. It may be animated, but it felt like a giant blockbuster, like a giant live action blockbuster. It had awesome visuals. It had great action. It had great dialogue that I was surprised by. Animation is definitely the way to go for this franchise. They were able to story build and just pull off so many awesome visuals that I don't think live action would be possible. I think it would be like way too expensive for them to do it in live action. This is definitely a step in the right direction for the Transformers movies. Although the movie seems uh, marketed for children, it actually surprised me because there was a lot of mature theming in it, like war, uh, betrayal, uprising. So I was, I, it was kind of like, this is a kid's movie, but there's some mature theming going on. And it reminded me of The Incredibles almost in that way. I really enjoyed that this was kind of like an origin story for the Transformers. I really loved seeing the relationship, the friendship between um, Optimus Prime and Megatron. It was um, really they had the, they gave the characters such good chemistry, and it's unfortunate because you know eventually they're gonna become like famous hero and villain enemies, and it's like damn. Damn, I, I like love them as friends. You can definitely go into this movie without knowing anything about the Transformers. I don't know anything about the Transformers, but I was able to follow along and it was, like I said, it's like a prequel and it, it definitely shows how Optimus Prime becomes the hero that he is, but I feel like it was more of a Megatron origin story, which was pretty badass to see. Comedy in this movie was pretty good. Some jokes didn't really land for me. Again, it's, uh, it is it is a kid movie in some parts, but I was definitely more interested in the story, the drama, the action. And I, I found myself like towards the climax of the movie, towards the end, like, am I, am I getting emotionally invested in these Transformers characters? Like what is going on? And it was, in those moments, it was done really well. Chris Hemsworth was actually perfect casting for Optimus Prime. I think he did a great job. He was funny. He was, um, he had an inspiring voice when he needed to have that. So he was perfect casting for Optimus Prime, I feel like. Brian Terry Henry is um, known for his comedic relief roles in a lot of movies he's done. But in this movie, he voices Megatron and he takes the role very serious and he sounds very menacing when he needs to. And I thought he did an amazing job. I was very surprised because he again he's like known for being just a comedian the silly goofy guy and I was like oh he's he's Megatron he sounds scary Keegan Michael Key voices Bumblebee and he is a, a, a voice casting match made in heaven he was so funny um, every joke that Bumblebee had landed for me I was laughing I was smiling I was grinning I felt like a kid again I was like oh I'm so happy Bumblebee can talk again this is really good it was it was a good performance i really really enjoyed i think bumblebee was my favorite if not bumblebee megatron but those two bumblebee and megatron definitely like took over the movie for me in my opinion optimus prime was great and just like the hero badass that he needed to be but bumblebee was just loved him i would rate transformers one an 8.5 out of 10 um Again, if you're burnt out by all the live action Transformer movies, I understand. But this one, I promise you, it is probably the best Transformers movie ever made. Um, go check it out if, if you're a parent and you want to take your kids out to, for, to the movie for the weekend. Um, 
you want to have a good time your kid wants to have a good time you guys this is definitely a good family movie to go check out in the upcoming weeks i'll be reviewing the wild robot joker 2 fully ado i think that's how you pronounce it um piece by piece and um terrifier 3 so we'll see how all those movies turn out i'm excited to watch them all um if you would like to see my reviews on those movies please follow like share and yeah see you guys on the next one